hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel kindly press the notification button after subscribing leave a comment and like meanwhile just sit back relax and enjoy as i take you through the book briefly so today we are going to analyze there is a book the death of the horseman the, the king's horseman by wole soyinke this is a rich book uh, and we all know Wole Soyinke is a, a renowned writer and uh, his books are normally very good and everyone just wants to listen to them. Everyone just wants to read them. It, the, you cannot get tired of reading Wole Soyinke's book. So uh, we have this book, The Death of the King's Horseman. This book involves two people. We have the colonial government, that is another group of people. We have the the Yoruba culture. The setting of the book is in Nigeria during the colonial period, the colonial era. And during that time, we can see that the government comes with their culture. And then the Yoruba people, they have different culture. That is their way of life. And uh, this book revolves around these two group of people. And now we're going to talk about straight away the, the, the main characters in the book. We have uh, Elisine as the main character. We have Simon Pilkins. We have Jane Pilkins. Kings. We have Olunde, that is the elder son to Elisin, and Elisin is the prominent chief. And as we know all, this book is really rich, and you will not want to miss this update. So, uh, in this these two group, we have the, these people, the Nigerians with the Yoruba culture. Uh, they believe that when a king dies, someone has to accompany the king to heaven. They believe that uh, the king, a prominent person, cannot just die that way and be left alone to go to heaven and alone. And so that is the reason they decided that our culture, this is our culture, and they set it and it's a rule there that whenever a king dies, a prominent chief must die to accompany the king. So we have Ellison, which the book begins uh, as uh, Ellison prepares uh, for, his, for his death. And we can see very well that uh, we, they are talking even about the, someone wearing uh, a death cloth. That's what they're saying in the book. And so Ellison has, uh, has been prepared as a chief. He really knew very well that I'm going to die. And this is something that they've been living with it. And they are sure that if this happens, this is what is going to take place. And they cannot change it. Not because of the, the fear of death. Because they believe that if you fail to do it and you are a chief, then you are so selfish. You are not a hero. You are expected that when you decided to die, to, to die and follow the king, to escort king to heaven, then you are a hero. And that's how they take their own point about being a hero. So in this book we also see the culture is running through their veins and you can see Olunde uh, after escaping and going to learn in a brother is in Europe and um, after being led by Simon Olunde comes back and says that oh I still understand my culture and Olunde talks to Simon telling Simon that I'm not even scared of my father's death because I was prepared that my father is going to die because it's our culture because Olunde knew very well that my father is a prominent person is a chief and the king died one month ago so it means that my father has to accompany the king to heaven and they really accepted it and Olunde did accept it so well and so you can see that the time Olunde comes back to meet Simon Pilkins, they decide to tell, to advise him to continue with education. Uh, he was studying medicine in Europe. And Olunde decided, okay, that's what I'm going to do. But whatever happens is really different, never expected. Because according to Simon, this is someone, Olunde is someone who has been transformed into the European culture, even wearing a black suit. And it was not normal because that is a white man thing. It came with the, 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 great, the great Western culture it came with the, the culture of the europeans and it was not not expected and now even after doing that um whatever happens to him is so unexpected because even as a reader you could not see it coming uh, to to happen even uh, at the end of the book and now we have Ellison who is preparing as the main character to meet his death. But then during the preparation, something really happens because the Europeans are against this culture. They don't support someone committing suicide. So Simon 
decides that, oh, I'm not going to let this happen. I'm sending my police officers who are going there and are, and are going just to stop the occasion from happening. And as normal, their culture is a, is a, is a shown by the beating of the drums. You can see the, the signal people through the beating of the drums. And they believe that if you hear drum beat this way, then it means that this is happening. And if you hear this drum beat this way, you mean that it's a wedding. So they relate it through the drum beating. And so that evening when I, Ellison was preparing for uh, his death. That's when the drum beating was happening. First, it was a wedding, and uh, Ellison was given a bride, a virgin bride. And after that, we have uh, uh, the drum beating, which symbolizes even the the death that someone is now ready to die. Someone is going to die. And during the time that he was really going to meet his death, that is when he was captured and taken captive by Simon, Simon's officers. And now inside that play, that house, that room where uh, Ellison was locked, uh, we see the son, Olunda, decides that, oh, I want to see my father. I want to talk to my father. I know I'm the eldest son, and after the death of my father, I will have to inherit the throne. And um, uh, Ellison, during the time that uh, the, the, do, the son, sorry, decides that I'm going to see my father, that is Simon decides that, no, you're not going to see your father because uh, there is still insecurity. There is still insecurity outside here, and you cannot go. And during that time, he accepts because it was normal and uh, he needed escort to reach the Yoruba people. And uh, at the same spot when he was still uh, de being delayed in the house so that he can stay long, uh, the, whatever was happening was really different because the father was already taken captive and he could not be allowed to go there. And then in the same book we have... Uh, we have some characters like Joseph. Joseph uh, was so much converted into Christianity and believed in Christianity so much and even believes that death has no power. So, uh, according to Simon, who has been converted, everything that he believes that holy water can cleanse every sin. It's all about holy water. Nothing more. It's just heaven, power, and holy water. And then... Uh, Simon becomes sarcastic and uh, even talks uh, talks about uh, all this, talks about holy water, the power of death. Um, and uh, what, what's the re response of uh, Joseph? Joseph says that, how can you talk about government to the police? And the same police are putting on the government's garment, that is the uniform. You cannot do that because how can you, how can you talk about someone if... You are telling the same person the gossip you 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 are you are intending to reach them, not to reach them. I mean, so this book is kind of twisted. It's a very nice book. It's a, a book of my liking. And there is this uh, this hero that is the tragic hero that is Ellison. Uh, instead of dying, Ellison Ellison is captured. Ellison is prevented from committing suicide from dying or rather. But again, you can see the community, they're so hungry, they're so angry, they cannot accept it because it, it looks like he has failed us, a chief, a, a, this kind of a chief, a hero, someone that we knew is so kind and not selfish, had decided that he's not going to take away his life. And the people of Yoruba are so much and angered and they they don't want to accept it that the chief was taken captive before committing suicide they just believe that it was done for the selfish gain of the chief so it becomes very hectic for these people in Yoruba because they believe a different thing and the government doesn't want, the, the colonial government, they doesn't want that to happen in the community because they believe that committing suicide, committing suicide is a crime. But in, at the end, unexpected happens. We see what happens. Olunde, that is the elder son to Ellison, decides to commit suicide because it, uh, he thought that it's going to look so awkward. It's going to look something like um, the father was so selfish. And he decided that, okay, I'm going to commit suicide. And you remember this is the character who the, whom the father just uh, decided to disown just because he, he went abroad through the help of Simon to study there. And uh, they thought that he had abandoned the culture of the Yoruba. And uh, 
he was disowned and the father said that he will no longer be my child and you can imagine because of the shame of the community shame of the father he, de he didn't want it to happen so he said that okay i'm going to take away my life i'm going to die so that i can escort the king to heaven so it's a very rich book it talks about the dk morals in the society it talks about um, the government how they were ruling that's where we find the it's a very rich book it talks about the dk morals in the society it talks about um, the government how they were ruling we also see uh, culture the drum beating they still they, these people still cling to their culture they don't want to leave it and it's a, a really nice book it's a really nice book a short one easy to read because everything is just straight you just go straight to the point there is no much twisting in the book and it's really a nice book and i advise you that kindly get a copy read it and you will enjoy the book thank you for watching my video kindly Subscribe to my YouTube channel, just like I told you before. And, and sit back, enjoy, then leave a comment and a like after enjoying the book. Thank you. Let's meet next time. Have a nice time.